quick video tour. This is uh, the little gasifier I've been building. Um, I've got this just about as far as it's going to get before we go to Argos. Um, it is right now Sunday, and I'm leaving on Thursday. So i um, got a little bit of painting to do and some other stuff to get ready for Argos. But uh, this is pretty much where I'm going to leave it. Uh, it's not completed. Uh, it, it's not operational. It's not going to be running at Argos. But uh, the idea is that people can see it. They can see inside it. See what uh, see what everything does. So, uh, but for those of you who aren't going to get to see it, I thought I would just do a little walk around. Um, like I said, it will be painted. So I'll probably put some pictures up of that later on. But uh, um, some folks have said that the, the gas flow is a little bit confusing. So I'll do my best right now to explain that. Um, so just on the surface of it, the air goes in here. The gas comes out there. Now there's a lot in between there, obviously. So uh, let's start with the air. Okay, so air comes in, goes into this top half. There's, there's going to be a plate covering this up. So this is a sealed off chamber from this. This will be air up here. Now if you look in there, there's a couple of tubes. Uh, each of those tubes goes into a wall. So each of these walls are hollow, this wall and this wall. Uh, those are air passages. The air goes down. Eh, I'm not sure if the light is good enough. Let me grab my shop light here. Okay. So it goes down, and you can see that there's a second layer of the floor there. So it goes down under that floor and uh, into the cyclone housing. Now, I'm not going to take it apart to where you can see that, but uh, each of these two cyclones, uh, they, they are combined in an oval housing. So look up in the thread for pictures of that. Uh, the air will go around these cyclones in the space between them. Okay, and then it will go from there into the fire tube. So there will be a connection. I'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, while we're here, I'll show you what the gas is doing. The gas is actually in the cyclone, so it's spinning around. I haven't out added the tops yet with little tubes that make it spin. But that will be, uh, let's see if you can see, there's an inlet and there's one on that side as well. So that's where the gas is coming into the cyclones. And if you look down in there, should be able to see the uh, depth of the cyclone. The reason I'm doing it this way is I can take the tops off of the cyclones and actually uh, clean them out. So the gas comes out of there, goes in all the way to the back of the plank. We're looking at the inside of the plank here. So it'll go all the way to the back of that. There's a space in this little shelf here, in this divider. It only goes part of the way. Okay, so it can go down the bottom all the way out and then it comes back along the top. Now you see this, uh, you see we've got this angled uh, bracket here. That is going to support a divider which makes the gas, uh, hang on, okay. So the gas will have to go in through the bottom because there will be a, a, a divider here. And then that will keep the gas coming out the top. So it comes back out here into this section and then out to the outlet. So let's have a look inside. This is the lid. Um, not completely finished. I'm going to add a gasket and so forth. So that's the plank that we were just looking at the inside of. Uh, I've got a couple of bolts holding that uh, divider in place. Uh, you can look down inside and see the fire tube. The grate is not attached right now, but uh, that'll be hanging on chains. Uh, and then this is the service box here. So uh, one thing that this will do is preheat the fuel. So this box and this plank should get very hot because of the gas that's going out. So that'll preheat the wood fuel and drive moisture out of the fuel. Uh, since it's being heated in the center and cooled on the hopper walls, that uh, that works a lot better than some previous gasifiers like old Imberts. They were preheating the fuel from the outside in and that means you can't condense any moisture because it's all being driven inward. We're driving the moisture outward. So that's a good thing. So this is uh, probably the first gasifier that I know of that's going to have that. Um, 
The uh, hopper itself is, because of the service box, it's had to been split and, and cut open, so it just slides down over the top like this, and I've just, I'm just i going to have to screw it down. I've only got it screwed a couple of places here for now, but uh, it, it fits over a little ledge there. All right, so in the front here, uh, we have the ash cleanout. Um, if you can see where the weld line is, uh, that is a welded up box inside the gasifier. Uh, that catches all the ash from the uh, cyclones, all the soot. So what you'll have here is a, uh, a round pipe that will have a cap, and then we can unscrew that, and uh, we can clean it out with a vacuum or, or by hand. Uh, this is the main ash dump. So I'll bear with me here. Uh, you can see very nicely into the bottom of the gasifier here. There's the grate. Let's see, there's that box. There's the bottoms of the two cyclones. The uh, cyclone jacket that I was talking about. Uh, and then this is, of course, the bottom of the fire tube. So if you look, you should see the plank. Okay, but out here, this section out here is what would have been called the drop box. Okay, uh, in Wayne's gasifier, this would be the, the settling drop box that lets the, uh, the char fall out of the gas stream. It gives the gas some room to expand and, and lets the gas fall out. So that'll, this is what this space serves as. This entire space serves as a drop box. If you look up there, though, you should be able to see the gas inlets for the cyclones. There's one on that side. I don't know if you can see it. There's one on the other side as well. So those are the inlets that go into the cyclones up here. So, uh, so the gas flow comes down through the uh, fire tube, through the grate, then back up the side here uh, into the cyclones. The dust goes down, the gas goes up and out, then up through here, in there, comes out here, then goes up here and out. A little bit, bit more complicated than the standard setup, but the idea is we're getting um, some extra air preheating, we're getting some extra fuel preheating, and uh, hopefully we'll gain a little bit of efficiency. Plus, uh, you know, it's a little more compact. Um, the overall dimensions of this, uh, with the lid on, it's 39 inches to the top of the lid. Without the lid on, it's 36. Um, and the... Uh, the narrow direction it's 21 inches and the long direction it's 29 so uh, I'll point this back at myself you can see this is roughly waist high uh, I don't know if that's working or not um, but uh, you know just it, grab a tape measure if you want to see exactly how big it is it's really not that big um, it, most gasifiers even Wayne Keith gasifiers are about 48 inches high so this is significantly shorter um, and uh, more compact. So things that are not on here, that are not even going to be on here for Argos. Um, the reinforcing bars for the, the uh, hopper, they're going to be some that match like the bottom half. The hopper cooling tubes are not here. Uh, I just did not have time. Um, the gas cooler, that may be a separate uh, contraption. It could also be formed around in the same shape as the gasifier and mounted to it, uh, similar to the Cali style coolers. Um, service doors. I'm not even. I haven't even built those yet. Um, that's kind of on purpose because I feel like if I had too much of this actually built, it would be very tempting to try and make it run, which I think is a very bad idea. So we're leaving off the, even the possibility of having this thing run at Argos. Um, it's, uh, and just to, to demonstrate to people, nobody needs the doors. So I will have the ash dump door just cause uh, I've already built it, but I have not built these doors yet. Um, and of course just connecting hardware, like the, the, the lid is there, but I don't have, um, any sort of a hinge for it or a latch. Uh, I don't have the, uh, lip there's going to be a, a rounded lip around the edge of the hopper. So, those things aside, this is complete. Um, I think you could think of it as a gasifier kit, a bunch of pieces that need to be assembled, and they're just dry fit right now. Uh, there's going to be a lot of sealant, 
Um, you know, this like this plank is attached by a row of bolts and uh, some silicone, and uh, the same thing for the hopper. It's going to have to be bolted together because I because of this gap here, and I have to bolt it all the way around the edges. So that's uh, that's all going to happen once I've water tested everything. I haven't even water tested all of this, most of it, but not all. Um, so once I get home with it, I'll, I'll test everything, make sure it's all tight and, uh, then I'll give it a first run. So, but that, that will be, uh, this is, this is what's going to Argos. So thanks for watching. Sorry. It's a little bit long video, but I did want to give everybody a quick tour of the gasifier.